Hey Kevin here from DIYDork.com. Today I want to show you how you can stain wood using shoe polish. So check this out. This is pretty awesome. Alright, so for this video I'm going to test out some shoe polish to work as wood stain. So I have two boards here. I have them split in half so each one will get a color. I'll, I'll do browns over here and black over here. On this board I'm going to use kind of the old school style shoe polish paste. And then here I'm going to use the shoe polish liquid. And then also I divided each side into four. So what I'm going to do is four coats. So the first coat will cover the entire portion here. Then the second coat will start at two, work on over, and then third here. And then the last coat will only cover here. And we'll see if they can build on top of each other. And uh, what I'm going to use for this board, I said the paste. So I have some brown and some black shoe polish. So I'll do brown over here, black over here. And then on this board, like I said, is the liquid. So I'm doing the same thing here. I have black on that side and brown over here. So let me kind of show you how it goes on and then I'll test out the colors and show you what I get. All right, so before I just start putting it on these boards and layering it, I just kind of show you how it goes on first. So here is my brown shoe polish paste. And uh, let me grab a rag here, just put it on. It goes on kind of like car wax or uh, furniture wax. And then uh, color goes on pretty light. It looks really nice too. So it's just a, a nice rich color. Now I'm sure that if you wanted a little difference in the actual tone of the brown, you probably could try out different brands. I just grabbed a couple real quick to test here, but a nice rich color looks pretty cool. So let me try the black now. All right, so here is my black shoe polish paste. Do the same thing. Looks nice and rich and black here, but check out what happens when you put it on the wood. All right, it's not quite as black. It actually has a little bit of like a bluish purple tint. So it's a, that's kind of a cool color. It's like almost black, almost blue. It's like the color of a bruise or something. Kind of cool. And then you can still see the wood grain through it. So there we go. That's how you put down the uh, paste. Now I'll build it up here in a little bit, but first let me show you how the liquid shoe polish goes down. All right, so then for the liquid, here's the brown. When you first open it up, the applicator will be just, you know, clean and white. I've actually used mine, so you want to shake it up really well. And then when you first start using it, turn it upside down and just press it all the way down. And you'll kind of feel something up here pop. I guess there's some kind of seal or something so the liquid can start, uh, can start coming out. But anyway, just press it down with a really light squeeze and you push it down it'll start leaving liquid like that. So you can use the applicator as is. It will be just a narrow little, um, you know, little stripe, but it looks pretty good. The one thing about this though is like if you come back to overlap, it, uh, you can kind of see where the two overlap right here. It gets a little darker, so you just got to be a little careful about application. So I don't know if you can actually smooth that out or not. And it's also really rich. If you want to lighten it a little bit, you could try either maybe squeezing some onto like a uh, little piece of plastic or aluminum, something that won't soak it up, and then use a rag or even like a brush. Or you could try this here too. Just put some on your rag directly and then put it down. And you can see that it's a little bit lighter. It's a little spottier too, but it'll work okay. And then uh, it's almost like a regular stain or, or kind of like the uh, the paste in that it's a little thinner, not quite as rich, and it's a little easier to smooth out the color and you'll avoid the lines. So let me show you the black real quick, and then, uh, then I'll start working on doing all the uh, fades to see if we can get the colors to build on themselves. All right, so here's my black. For whatever reason, the uh, top has an angle cut on it. I mean, it does say it's for heel and edge versus the brown, which says it's scuff cover. So I don't know why the one's angled, one isn't. But anyway, same thing. It still popped on me when I first opened it. And then this color is really rich. So check this out and you press it down. My black is like really liquidy. So really cool color. I mean, that is super dark black. Now once it soaks in, it'll lighten up a little bit. So I'll go ahead and do another line here. That's a really cool color. And then I'll do the same thing. I'll put some on directly on the rag and we'll see what we can get out of that. Yeah, it's still a pretty rich color, but you can see it's a little bit fainter than the uh, direct black, which is really cool, like a midnight black. So that's how you can apply those. So now what I'll do is go ahead and go through and add my multiple layers, and we'll see if we can build off of these and see what kind of colors we can get. Should be pretty cool.
and check it out. So here is the shoe polish paste. You can see with the brown, there is a little bit of a gradient to it. Uh, seems about coat three or four kind of tops out. I mean, I guess four is a little darker, but uh, there's definitely a difference between coat one and the last one there. Same thing with the black, although it does look blue. You can tell that coat four is quite a bit darker than coat one. Now, if something happened with three, it looks like it was the texture of the wood really soaked in that kind of, you know, waxy paste, so it deepened up. So it kind of messed up my little sample here. All right, so then for the uh, liquid here, I think my little stripes was probably not the best way to show what it looks like. So I actually have another sample to show here in a minute. But anyway, you can see how it uh, has a gradient as well. Now, when I first, you know, squeezed it down, it got a little deep here, and that's why it's so dark. But this is basically what one coat looks like. And you can see it starts to get a little darker. And by about coat three, it seems to kind of top out. Coat four is not too much darker. Even the same thing with when I wiped, it looks really nice here. Coat two, it gets a little deeper. Coat three and coat four don't look a lot different. Probably the main difference between coat three and coat four is that a lot of the uh, wood grain starts to disappear. All right, so then for the black, since it was such a rich color, this one I felt uh, got really dark really quick. So coat one, Looks pretty awesome. You can see a little bit of wood grain in there. It deepens up a little bit. By coat three, I think it maxed out because there I don't see any difference between coat three and coat four. Now, when I wiped it on, I don't think I did it uh, quite right. I think I went a little heavy handed on my first coat. So it all just kind of blacked out and didn't change a lot. So I kind of redid it here on another board. And as you can see, I mean, coat one is, is a little thinner, but by two and three, it pretty much is blacked out. I mean, there's a very light gradient to it. So as far as the uh, black liquid, I would say about two or three coats as max you can do on it. But everything else, you could probably go three or even four coats if you wanted to deepen it up. Now, like I said, I, I wanted to test out to see if I could get any gradients in the colors. But now to show you what boards look like when they're just completely coated with one coat. They actually look really nice. So let me show that to you next. All right, and here we go. Here's what they look like with just one coat of color. You can see they actually look really nice, a lot better than my little sample boards I was doing. So this is just a raw board up here for comparison. This is the one coat of brown, has a real nice honey color. This is the one coat of the black wax. has kind of a grayish blue color, pretty awesome. The uh, brown liquid here got really deep rich, almost like a, a milk chocolate. And then the black here got a really cool ebony look to it. So there you go. That's what they actually look like when the board is completely coated. Uh, by the way, these are just wiped on with a rag. But these two here with the liquid, I actually just used a little applicator sponge. So I kind of squeeze them on and then I just smeared it all over and tried to make it kind of even. I did not use the rag at all. So it actually looked pretty good and it didn't get the um, striping like I was getting with the uh, original test pieces. So I was just real careful, got a nice deep rich color and those look pretty cool. So there you go. That's how you stain wood with shoe polish. Hey, thanks for checking out this video. I really appreciate that. If you liked it, go ahead and hit that thumbs up. That really helps get it out in front of other people that might like to check it out too. And if you haven't subscribed, be sure to do that to keep up with more videos. And if you want to see some other projects I have, I have some here on the screen and down in the description below as well.